So, Shannon, was the Adore Jackson move by the Giants a big deal or no big deal here? Skip, can I say I, I understand why they did it? Considering what Washington has done at the wide receiver position, they have two wide receivers now. You upgraded the quarterback position. You look at Dallas and what they have at the wide receiver position yep. with Amari Cooper, C.D. Lamb, and C.D. Lamb and Michael Gallup. Yep. You see Philly, they, they may or may not take a receiver. Devontae Smith is right there at six. Jamar Chase is there at six. Agreed. Here, him with Draylon Regal. So I get why they did it. I just think this was a lot of money for a guy I would consider a second corner. Uh, a number two corner. Malcolm Butler was the number one corner. Malcolm Butler was the guy that traveled. And for a guy to get this kind of money skip with no Pro Bowl, no All Pros, uh, I, I, and I, for me, when I watch him play, I just never got the sense like, oh, he, he, that, he that guy. I don't see Jair Alexander. I don't see Marcus La uh, uh, Lattimore. I don't see Jalen Ram. I don't see that in him. And I think coming out, everybody thought he was going to be that next big deal at the cornerback position. Yep. Skip, they released their entire secondary. Well, three-fourths of it. They <laughs> they, they, they killed, and I don't know why. They killed, they killed uh, Bird, uh, Bird, I think this is yeah. the name. Yeah. They even killed one guy. Yep. I, I, I just don't get So I get why they did it. That's a lot of money. You get why the Giants Gi did it. Why the yeah. Giants did mm -hmm. it. But, Skip, I don't see him as a difference maker. I never saw him as that in Tennessee. Now, maybe he gets with Bradbury. But, Skip, you know when you go to free agency, the expectations level rise because you change team, you got a king's ransom, so they expect you to be $13 million corner. And I just I, I didn't see it. Um, Tennessee, if, t what I don't get with Tennessee, Skip, Tennessee let him go knowing that in order for us to get to our ultimate destination, we got to go through Buffalo, we got to go through Kansas City. Yep. All of those trot three wide receivers out there, and all three have ex all two have excellent quarterbacks. Remember, they picked up Adore's fifth-year option. Right. And then one day before the deadline where it suddenly vests, Just kicked, in. kicked in at it $10 million, they cut him. Yeah. They cut him? So he lost that on 10 million and went and got 13 a year. He got 16 and a half million in the first year. 13 and a half to sign 3 million base. He won that deal. He won, yeah. He ain't disappointed that he's. He, nope. Maybe because I don't know if Tennessee has state. I think Tennessee doesn't have state tax. So he might have lost that going to New York, Skip. But considering that he had no job after Tennessee released him and go get 39 million over three years, he won. But Skip, I get why the Giants did it. But I don't look at it like, oh, man, he game changing now. Now, maybe. Maybe, Skip, if you look at it from this perspective, the Giants' D-line is a lot better than what Tennessee trotted out there. Tennessee couldn't get to the quarterback and save their line. So maybe mm -hmm. that made him look a little worse than what he actually is. And maybe with Leonard, uh, uh, big Leonard Williams and those guys rushing the quarterback. They gave Leonard Williams a ton of right. money. And so, Skip, but maybe. remember, Leonard Williams had 11 and a half sacks yes. last year. So I'm maybe, maybe, Skip, because it goes hand in hand, pass rush. Corners yeah. don't have to hold up as long. Corners really good. The defense get a little extra step to get there. So maybe it pays off. But, Skip, I'm, I'm like, okay. If, if, if the Giants' defense pick up, picks up where they left off last year, this would be a great move. It would be a great move. But that's only if. <sighs> Shannon Sharp. <laughs> Unfortunately, I disagree with everything you just said. And I, I prefaced it with unfortunately because I'm sorry. I have to publicly admit my Cowboys are getting in deeper and deeper trouble. But Skip, you can't look at it just from your Cowboys perspective. That's all I care about in, in the world. I care about my Cowboys perspective. But they got that. That was their big you know, piece of pie. And I tried to get happy about that. Because at that press conference, Jerry said, I'm sorry, I got to keep saying it. We still got a big piece of pie. <laughs> Meaning salary cap yes. pie because Dak counts only $22.2 million this year. He makes 75, counts only 22.2. And Jerry indicated there's room for maybe two significant free agents. Well, obviously, they need to play the other side of the ball right. because the other side of the ball was all time bad last right. year. And my secondary was the worst in the NFL yeah. last year. Is there any doubt about that? Yeah, you, it was just right. simply the worst yeah. last year. So I, I need some, some firepower. I, I need a move and a move. And I got Keanu Neal, who's a box safety who will probably play linebacker, right. who, who does not defend the pass. Right who's coming off an ACL and an Achilles tear, and they say they're bringing in Malik Hooker and Kazee, the, the other kid from Atlanta, 
both coming off Achilles tendon tears. So what's been the Achilles heel of my defense? Safety. Yeah. So appropriately, we're bringing in three safeties who are all coming off Achilles tears, right? <laughs> Beautiful. <laughs> Way to go, Jerry. Is that box office? I don't think so. So I, I wanted moves. I wanted big You moves. wanted a Dory Jackson? Here's what I wanted. I got what Pro Football Focus <laughs> ranked. The two best deals in free agency. I got it right here. I wanted John Johnson III from the Rams, or I wanted from the Rams Troy Hill, their slot corner, who became a star last yes. year. And Cleveland went boom, boom, bang, bang, and signed both of them back to back. And Cleveland already had a pretty good secondary yeah, to start with because they got two, yeah. two pretty good Denzel outside Warren, corners. Greedy yeah. Williams come. Yeah, pretty good. Brad Delpit, Torres Achilles. Yeah, he, so we'll he, see he, he tore his Achilles. But, but Skip, you were, okay. when and, I asked and you about I, John I thought, Johnson. I thought John Johnson, I, you brought it up the first yeah. day, and I said, he'll cost $15 million. Okay. He cost $10 million. Yes. They got him for $10 million a year. And Troy Hill, they just stole. Well, well why can't we steal somebody where I say, <laughs> I got a guy. I, I got a real guy instead of what Bill Parcells called a JAG, just another guy. Right. So all I have to show is an offensive lineman I'd never heard of and three de defensive linemen, linemen, only one of which I'd ever heard of, Brett Urban, and right. the other two I'd never heard of before, and Keanu Neal, who played for the worst pass defense statistically in pro football last year, mm -hmm. one that got torched to the tune of almost 800 yards in the two games against Brady. Right. What am I supposed to do with that when I – I'm an Adoree fan. I adore him. I'm sorry. I did coming out and – Again, I, you hate pro football focus, but I, I'm going to hang my helmet, if you will, on that website okay. because they point out that Adoree Jackson has the fourth highest coverage grade since 2018, since his rookie year, when he lines up outside, which is about 86% of the time. Right. That trails only Jair Alexander, Richard Sherman, and Stephon Gilmore. So by their grade, something good is happening over there. And I agree that you finally got to the point, Tennessee does not rush the passer. Right. So they are grading him higher because he's under duress longer Skip. because they don't sack the quarterback. Skip, think about this. The team that sees a Dory Jackson practice every day, play every I, Sunday. I, I don't get it. Don't grade him okay, like they, they, they did. They cut Malcolm Butler, too, yes. who's still on the market. Yes. I'll take him right now. Richard Sherman's still on the market, right. by the way. The, they kept Vaccaro, the safety, mm -hmm. who I always had some respect for. Yeah, I thought he was well, a decent safety. Yeah, well, what, are, what are they doing? I don't know. I just know what we're not doing. I right. know what they did. They just – that's that's not passive aggressive. That's just flat out right. aggressive. They just said, we're not good enough. Let's start over. Right. I don't know why. But the Giants benefited from that because James Bradbury made the Pro Bowl yeah. last year. So, okay, if Adoree Jackson is the second corner, I'll give you that. Right. Still pretty good because Jabril, excuse me, Jabril Peppers is very, I'm a big fan. Mm -hmm. <sighs> Logan Ryan is really good. Mm -hmm. And I don't like what he did to Dak, but he didn't mean to do it to Dak. He just <laughs> yanked him down. It was a front horse collar, right. but it, he got him on the ground. And unfortunately, Dak's ankle broke. Right. Okay. They're really good. They, they were ninth in points allowed last year yeah. to start with the right. New York defense. That's really good. They were tied for 10th in takeaways. That's really good. Really good. That will win a bunch of football yeah. games. And then you, you add that to Leonard Williams and Dexter Lawrence and Blake Martinez, who's just a football player. Mm -hmm. He just sticks his nose in everything. Right. Now, now you've got something. Yes. Now you, you're able to fight the firepower that we have at receiver and that you just point out with Curtis Samuel, Washington has. Right. With McLaurin and Samuel, they got blazers on right. the outside. Right. And then – that William Jackson the third. I'm sorry. I I didn't watch the Bengals a lot, but every time I turned the game on, he flashed. Mm -hmm. He just plays. The, he's a ball hawk corner that they went out and they got him and they added him to a secondary and got rid of Ronald Darby, who you don't like, who's now with your Broncos. Oh, Lord, okay. So did they get better? Well, yeah, they got. Yes. That the Washington got a lot better, mm -hmm. and then weapons. For Daniel Jones, Galladay, Slayton, Shepard, even Dante good. Pettis, who made the big catch that should have been challenged by Mike McCarthy. Uh, then John Ross, is the, he can fly, you know, just as a icing on the, the cake. You got Evan, Evan Ingram. Ingram and Kyle Rudolph. They got weapons. Right. So what do we have? Well, to your initial point, we got Dak back in the saddle. I hope he's happy. Mm -hmm. I hope he doesn't crumble under the pressure to live up to $164 million. Yeah. 
But here, here's all I know. This is what, what I'm still clinging to, is his overall record is now, Dak's record is 42 and 27. I grant you his last 17 are 6 and 11, but right. he's 42 and 27 as a starting quarterback mm-hmm. in the National Football, Football League. That's plus 15 games. Yeah. Daniel Jones is 8 and 18. That's minus 10 under 500. And for what it's worth, Ryan Fitzpatrick, I assume he's going to start oh, he, for he Washington. Under 500. He's 58, 86, and 1. So he is 27 games under 500. Never been to the playoffs. Daniel Jones, obviously, never been to the playoffs. Dak, at least, has played three playoff games and won one. What about the Eagles? You ain't mentioned the Eagles. Okay. Well, I love Jalen Hurts, and he's just a baby. He's just trying to figure it out. But – don't let them get Kyle Pitts. Don't let them get Kyle Pitts because all of a sudden it's going to be bigger and bigger trouble for me. Well, Skip, you know in free agency, what do you have to do? you got to overspend. Yeah. So maybe the Giants overpaid. But you don't know, Skip, who else is in the bidding for him. You don't know who else is in the running to sign a Dory Jackson. So, okay, how do I get him into my building and make sure he doesn't leave? And that's what happens a lot of times, Skip. You bring these guys in. They say, well, you know, I got, a, I got a, uh, another visit scheduled for this team, and I got another visit scheduled to that team. Yeah. Well, I don't want you to get out of here. How, what, what's the number? I'm on the, they're on the phone with your agent. What's the number that we can get to to make sure he doesn't take those flights to go visit those other teams? Mm. This is what we're looking for. Done. Okay. He never left the building. Okay. So, so maybe, we, oh, maybe they overpaid. Okay, so how much better is the Giants and the Washington defense than Dallas's defense yeah, right now? Exponentially. Okay, like exponentially. <laughs> yeah. Fox Bet still has the Cowboys as the odds-on favorite to win the East. Okay, I'm good with that. I'm trying to see my glasses nine tenths full. Yeah, right. Yeah. I, I think Skip, I, but because I think the thing is the way Fox Bet measured it is that Dak is substantially better than okay. all the I, other quarterbacks in that division. I got it. And at but the that's, end of the day, that's where it ends. Right. It ends with yes, that, yes. right? Offensively, they might be better. And you said the quarterback is the difference maker. You can have all the defense you want, but you can't overcome – your defense can't overcome bad quarterback play. Nope, it cannot. But it's hard for my quarterback to overcome – Bad defense a, play. <laughs> a, a hapless, hopeless defense that, that gives up, you know, is down 44-14 to 14 to Cleveland right. after three quarters. Right. right? Yeah. Remember the home game? Yeah. yeah. 40, yeah, you look yeah. down 40 14. Okay. Well, what, what, what am I supposed to do with that? I can't defend it. Right. I can't win with it. There, there comes a point where, when you fall behind to the Atlanta Falcons at halftime this past year, 29 yeah. to 10, and Dak pulled off a miraculous comeback, yes. it's just you can't keep doing that. You're, you're going to lose. A so, lot of games. So, in other words, it's not so much that you love Adore Jackson. You're still upset that the Cowboys had made a move in free agency on the defensive side of football that's going to get Skip Bayless excited right. like other fan bases and, are getting and, excited about them signing free agency. We're going to talk more about this later in the show, but you know how much Jerry Jones loves his own. Yeah. The, the players they draft, he just clings with yeah. both hands as hard They're as he babies, can cling. They're his babies. Xavier <laughs> Woods. That for some reason they love him. I watch him every snap, and he's. We had him on the show. He's a great young man. I I, I don't have anything personal. It's just Xavier lost in the woods yeah. at safety. Yeah, Too many weird. times he just lost. I'm saying, well, where are you? What are you doing? You took a terrible angle on on play like the Odell play where he yeah. broke up the, the right <laughs> sideline. Where are you? I don't know where he was because right. he didn't seem to know where he was. Well, he's still on the market in. And I'm going to fall off this chair if they just re-sign him at cut rate value because he's not worth a nickel to me at this point. I already saw you that. Can you get minimum? No, I already saw it. You you got to start fresh. You got to start over. And there's a reason why Xavier Woods is still on the market. Maybe you right? have value. You got to drop his value, some Skip. You know, sometimes you got to have. You know, Michael Jordan's house in Chicago. That thing is still on the market. Is it really? It was on the market. It started out at 29 and a half. Now I think it's down to like. 13, 11. Uh, well, d- d- does that have anything to do with the fact that the winter lasts nine months in Chicago? Is that why? I mean, yeah, I mean, yeah. Yeah. Still, location, I mean, location, well, location. You know, that's Michael Jordan, if but... you took that house and put it up where you live in Bel Air, oh, it would be over. <laughs> it would already be gone for that house, 30 that, million or right. whatever it was. I just saw a house sold for 150 million in Bel Air. <laughs> <laughs> Are you in the market, Shannon? No, no, yeah, no. I can't no. even pay the light bill or something oh, like that. Yeah. But Skip, I, look, you gotta, 
You can't look at what your Cowboys didn't do and then praise what somebody, even if it, it might be a bad deal. Know, Jerry, but, like, Jerry like deals. You know, Jerry like a guy to get good value for his money. But, but Jerry must be sitting back in his big easy chair saying, yeah, I got Dak. I'm good. Well, are you? There, but, there's this other thing called defense. Has Jerry ever had a good defense since Charles Haley fell in his lap and then Dion? Oh, hold up. Mm. Skip. But you said Jerry loves that. When Jerry Goff signed these deals and all these guys signed these Jerry, you said Jerry said, that's what. That's a bad deal. That's a bad deal. So how do you know Jerry's not sitting back saying, that's a bad deal. That's a bad deal. That's a bad deal. And I'm looking at his defense. <laughs> that's a bad defense. <laughs> Am I right? It's it just is. a bad defense. It is bad. It is bad. Okay. It is Thank bad. you. Thank you for watching. You can subscribe here to get the latest from the show and be sure to check out more of the best clips from Undisputed or go watch a few other segments from our other shows on FS1.